Away. It's Wednesday. I'm continuing with my journey of responding to questions and comments, post events uh, on domestic violence awareness last uh, last Saturday the 31st. One of the questions that was asked was why do we stick around in an abusive relationship when we could easily just step out i'm going to talk about one reason there are many reasons we can go through we are organizing another event where we can discuss these things but i'm going to talk about one reason today and one of the reasons why people stay in abusive relationships when they could easily walk out is because it's very difficult for people to acknowledge that they have made a mistake it's even harder to acknowledge that they have failed and a lot of people see walking away from a marriage walking away from a long-term relationship walking away from a family is failure but that is just when you're looking at it on the basics just you know like face value the deeper things that can cause somebody to walk away will make the difference between it being a wrong move or a right move will make will make that difference between it being a failure or actually a benefit removing yourself from harm is not a failure so if you if you've been in a long term marriage or a long term relationship that is abusive and you finally pluck the confidence to step away from it never tell yourself that you have failed i would say you have actually succeeded and if you're asking me what you've succeeded in i'll tell you you have succeeded in saving yourself you have succeeded in saving your life you have succeeded in saving your children if you have children you have succeeded in saving your children from the trauma of watching you being traumatized you have succeeded in giving yourself a second chance you have succeeded in taking charge of your own life claiming your life back because abuse takes it away from you it takes your identity from you. It takes your self-value from you. It takes your self-confidence from you. And it takes away the possibilities of you achieving your calling, which saves other people as well. So you have actually even succeeded in availing yourself to serving the people that God meant you to serve. By that, I don't mean it has to be anything gigantroid or anything huge. Just being able to feed yourself, your family, as well as you should, is serving. And if that is what God intended for you, then you are actually succeeding. Why am I sharing this again? I want everybody who is living in bondage to know that they have every right to be out of that bondage and they have every right to live their dream they have every right to be happy and to be accepted as they are and to be valued you don't get those things when you're in an abusive relationship and another thing before i go that you have succeeded in doing it by removing yourself from an abusive relationship is preserving your mental health the longer you stay in an abusive uh, relationship or marriage the higher you are at risk of starting to have mental health problems mental health illnesses nervous breakdowns crushing loss of jobs you name it almost everything that surrounds your life gets affected by staying in an abusive relationship and by removing yourself from it all that gets reversed and you get your life back 
I'm sharing this to encourage one, to encourage two, to encourage many to take the right steps towards addressing abuse. Whether it's in the home, front, in your workplace, on the streets, neighborhoods. There are a lot of abusive situations that go on out there. I talk a lot about domestic violence because that's my niche from personal experience. But I also know that there are various types of abuse and all of them. Nobody should stay in any of it. Everybody deserves to live life as they were intended by God to live. Have a lovely Wednesday. Continue to do your best to be your best. That is all you can do. Nobody should expect anything more than your best. And if your best is not good enough for the next person, don't worry. Be your best for those that appreciate your best. And that is all good ones from you. Have a lovely midweek and may the rest of the week be blessed and fruitful. Love always.